I understand that that a uh, someone who has committed a rape would not be able to uh, sue if an abortion were to take place. Would a family member of said rapist be able to sue? Would they have standing? Down to 21. Thank you. If it is the uh, parents, siblings, aunts and uncles, grandparents, then yes. Uh, same question then uh, for incest as well? Down to 21. Thank you. Yes. So if I am raped and choose to have an abortion and my rapist has 10 siblings, is there anything to preclude all of them and their spouses from um, bringing a lawsuit for $20,000 each? Down from 21. I'm not sure their spouses are included in, the, in that list, but uh, no. All those ridiculous scenarios that were being confirmed there were from Idaho as they're mirroring a new anti choice bill uh, that tech that mirrors Texas's six week one that was getting all that attention uh, early in the year. Uh, let's go to some of the details here because there's things that go even further in this particular bill. So uh, last year, Texas Republicans, they did make the name for themselves as we mentioned there. Uh, when they came up with this diabolical way to not only ban abortions with no exceptions for rape or incest after six weeks of pregnancy, but also craft the legislation in such a manner that the Supreme Court would let it stand. Also millions of people, uh, they viewed SB8 as a gruesome and, barba and barbaric, but not to mention unconstitutional for numerous reasons. That includes, but not limited to the fact that many women don't even know that they're pregnant until after six weeks. So we discussed that when it became to the Texas law. Um, but as I said, this one goes a little bit further and there's a more twist to it. Let's look at that. Monday, the Idaho House, they passed Senate Bill 1309, which like Texas would prevent pregnant people from obtaining abortions after six weeks. But there's the spin from Idaho. Rather than empowering any old private citizens to sue to enforce this law, it specifically allows family members of the fetus, including family members of a rapist's fetus, to sue abortion providers for up to four years after the procedure for a minimum of $20,000 in damages, up to four years after the procedure. So while in Idaho, uh, there's the, they have such, hum, excuse me, while Idaho has so humanely said that the rapists themselves could not sue, under this proposed legislation, they could get their parents and siblings to do so, as you heard them discussing in that video there, as well as the would be brothers and sisters of the fetus in question. And the one caveat is um, provisions like these, they're not about the lawsuits, they're about actually keeping people from uh, or providers and anyone that, that can facilitate these uh, the choice to keep them and scare them off from doing so. So uh, graphic six, you guys. Um, although Idaho's bill, uh, unlike Texas, it would in theory allow for exceptions in the cases of rape and incest. New York Times notes that the Idaho bill requires women to file a police report and show it to the provider before they can get an abortion. There's lots of back and forth and twists and turns here, Rick, um, because it doesn't allow the rapist to be the one to sue his victim uh, if he impregnates her. Um, but then in order for her to go ahead and get that procedure done, she has to bring in the doctors or the police report about what happened. But then what happens to the siblings? I'm not saying you have these answers, but this is where these types of laws go to the back and forth of trying to make sure there's some carve out to make it seem like they're being humane. But really it brings us right back to the same brick wall. Can saying. I, yeah, real quick, I just wanna ping pong it back to you. Like as you're taking all this in and researching it, what what is, what comes to your mind? How I view it is simply control, and I know that that's, you know, a pretty broad term. But as you were researching this, what was your initial analysis of it? Well, about what it's if, uh, the effectiveness. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, what what Republicans are trying to do and what they've been trying to do for many years in overturning well, Roe. The main thing here is at this point, before they can get to the Supreme Court to do so, they're trying to. I think this is, of course, my yeah. yeah. Process. Um, at least the first the first vein of this is to is to scare folks out of even trying it because of the many different mm -hmm. levels you can be sued. So $20,000, so of people who can afford $20,000 in a lawsuit that I'm not sure how that would come about. The main point there when it comes minimum of $20,000, then the thing is there is they're trying to scare them into even thinking about it or anyone else from facilitating it. That was part of the Texas one and right. these others that are being crafted. That's just the scare tactic. Um, and then I think they figure enough people will, will have some support for these anti-choice laws and maybe the Supreme Court will, when they have their opportunity, rule in their favor as well. I feel like that's been what they've been saying from the beginning. As soon as Trump got you know, a couple of justices on the court, mm -hmm. it's like, here we go, we're coming after Roe and we're gonna find a way. And they specifically said so, as we craft these legislations from different states, it's supposed to look in a way to try and give the Supreme Court some kind of a format that they can go for outlawing choice.
Gotcha, okay, so uh, I'm with you there. Um, how I view it is not only control, but blatant hypocrisy. Because they say that they're pro-life, but in all of their beliefs and the laws that they pass, they are anything but. They don't really care about the refugees unless they're white Ukrainian refugees. They don't really care about, and, and here's here's just another very quick thing before I continue yeah. that thought. The also blatant hypocrisy of the right when it comes to other legislation. Like even with abortion, there have been numerous Republican lawmakers who have been caught and resigned in shame because they have tried to pressure a mistress, a spouse, a playboy playmate in one instance to get an abortion. And this was even days prior voting for legislation to restrict abortion. Maybe two to three days prior to forcing a mistress to get one. Yeah. So how I view about this is um, with a lot of things from the right, it's blatant projection. Because they just want to cover their own behinds as much as possible. And cling to this superior morality when it's anything but. Including, by the way, when it comes to LGBTQ rights. There have been many Republican lawmakers who have been caught. And that's not even saying that it's like a terrible thing. It's just the hypocritical tones yeah. of saying, hey, I'm gonna vote against LGBTQ rights. And I'm gonna vote against the bathroom bill while also soliciting uh, sexual favors, let's say, while in the stall next to somebody and tapping this other man's toe. So I, I hate everything about this. Um, modern technology, I believe the New York Times published this, that it's 20 some weeks before a woman may even know that they're pregnant. So yeah, six okay, weeks six is week ridiculous. Number. Like yeah, all of it's just horrible. It's obvious that six weeks number is what they're, is they know that the, the degree to which when people would know. Uh, whether or not they're pregnant at that point is hard to come by. That's the whole mm -hmm. point. So that it virtually eliminates it. But they say we got the six week thing. That's what one of the reasons why I think that's the plan is to make sure that it's it's anti choice completely with these small caveats to make it seem like it's not. So. Right. Um, very last point. Uh, how I view this is with a lot of things within the uh, right wing circles, which is they just don't want anything else but a pure Christian nation. This except is the, this is except for them, of course. This is the talking point. It's what they stick to, and it's how they legislate. Yeah, no, they've they've got enough people convinced that they're the they have the morality, uh, <laughs> they have a stranglehold on morality, so therefore they should be voted for when mm -hmm. it's absolutely not the case.